local breaking news. This is WIFF News 4 at 6. Let's get right to our weekend weather. Here's a live look at our Hilton Greenville sky cam. Such a rainy day for most of us. But you know, I have some bright news for you. I want to welcome our new meteorologist, Griffin Hardy. Griffin, we are so glad you are here. But my oh, friend, yeah. we got to talk about this rain. Oh, yeah, we sure do. You know, it's uh, never a dull moment here in the upstate. Very glad to be joining all of you for my first regular newscast on these weekend evening shifts. Tracking a lot of heavy rain on live Super Doppler 4 HD. Most of that south of I-85 as you travel down towards Lawrence and Greedwood. A lot of us have picked up quite a bit of rainfall around half an inch to one and a half inches at the most around an inch and a half further up into northern Greenville County. Closer look at that heavier rainfall now moving through uh, Edgefield County up into Saluda County. A few lightning strikes here, maybe some gusty winds on the order of 40 miles per hour as this tracks up to the northeast at 40 miles per hour towards Saluda and towards Newberry. You're probably going to catch some heavy downpours here. Further up to the north, north, north though, towards Spartanburg and Gaffney, the rain has light up a little bit similar story as you travel over towards Seneca and Greenville and up into the North Carolina mountains getting a break in the rainfall for now but there is more rainfall on the way later tonight lots of thunderstorms happening now in southern Georgia and South Alabama so we're not quite done just yet we will see more heavy rain heading into the overnight hours later tonight after midnight that rain chance goes up to around 60 to 70 percent heading into tomorrow morning but late tomorrow afternoon much of that rainfall will start to subside we'll get much colder tomorrow tomorrow night and we're watching for more rain potentially heading into Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll talk a little bit more about those rain chances and what's ahead for the rest of the week and into Christmas coming up in just a bit. Renee, over to you. Thanks, Griffin. Be sure to follow him on social media. South Carolina's Attorney General wants the that's creative with a popular holiday tradition. Griffin? And been a very rainy evening all across our viewing area. We have seen the rain subside for right now in Greenville. We're tracking that chance of rain through the overnight hours and into next week. Your full forecast after the break. It's your day. Time. They've got a few years to figure that one out. Wonderful holiday story there. Here's something to get you in the holiday spirit. Colder temperatures. Tomorrow morning, not too bad in the 50s, but we're back to near freezing by Monday morning. We'll talk about how long that cold air sticks around and what could be ahead for us here for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. That's coming up after the break. The Sky Cam Network is sponsored by McKinney. recommend a pet for you that's going to be a really good fit. And it's been a very rainy evening all across our viewing area this evening and most of the afternoon as well. Still tracking a lot of rainfall out there on live Super Doppler 4 HD. Most of that, again, down to the south of 85 in the southern part of our viewing area. Let's get a closer look at it. Uh, much, across of, uh, much across Edgefield County, there's a lot of heavy rain here. And this, is, this storm is starting to ramp up a little bit as it tracks up to the northeast at 40 miles per hour. Saluda County uh, probably about to pick up in some pretty gusty showers here as this storm tracks up to the northeast. This'll be moving through Moneta in about uh, 634 and Batesburg and Leesville in about uh, at about 641. So in the next 20 to 25 minutes, be on the lookout for some gusty winds, some frequent lightning strikes. Uh, but further up to the north, the storms have kind of winded down a little bit. We're getting a break from the rainfall here in Greenville and across much of Spartanburg. Still seeing some light showers across much of Lawrence County, then further east into Union County, more light showers here. And then up into the North Carolina mountains near Waynesville, Cullowee and Asheville, maybe a couple of specks of rain rain here and there, but in large part seeing a break in the rain. However, we're not out of the woods just yet. That rain's going to keep on coming later tonight. Here's a closer look at our latest few, uh, forecast model here. Some more showers possible by around 10 o'clock tonight, and that will continue after midnight. Just kind of hit and miss rain showers, albeit not as heavy as what we saw earlier this afternoon. It's the same story when you head out early tomorrow morning by 7 a.m. Looking at more good coverage of light showers here. By lunchtime tomorrow, though, I think we start to see more sunshine out there and the rain starts to let up just a little bit. Our, few, uh, our latest forecast model has a couple more light showers tomorrow evening down into our Georgia counties, but I'm really not expecting much from that. Just uh, another, day, another night with a clear sky by tomorrow evening and then seeing more sunshine once again by Monday. Our next storm system that we're watching is going into be uh, heading into Tuesday. This could bring us some uh, pretty good chance of rain for Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, the confidence is not that high, though. Our forecast models are kind of disagreeing on what this storm system does. We'll be keeping an eye on it for now. I'm going with a 40% chance of rain across our area for Tuesday and into Wednesday. The other big story is going to be the cold, which will definitely be coming back uh, by Monday morning. We're back down to near 
uh, freezing here in the upstate. Overnight tonight, though, those temperatures drop pretty quickly. 40s up in the mountains, only topping out in the 40s in the mountains for tomorrow afternoon. Here's that four-day forecast. Here's what we're looking at. Much colder Monday, and then those showers will be possible Tuesday into Wednesday. Looking ahead to Christmas, looks like we'll be dry and a little bit warmer with highs up into the lower 60s. Similar story for the mountains as well. Those showers will be clearing out by tomorrow morning, and then again, those chances come back Tuesday and Wednesday. Saturday night, gotta love it. Absolutely. Yeah, that's fun. And it's a good thing, too, that those are inside games because I'm sorry, <laughs> this rain, oh, when are we no, gonna see some relief? Well, tomorrow afternoon we'll get a little bit better. I'm, I'm sick of it, too. You know, it's, <laughs> it's just been so kind of gross all day long. We will have maybe a couple pockets of drizzle tomorrow morning, but again, tomorrow afternoon, a little bit better. We'll get colder, though. That's the trade off. Monday, Tuesday, we back we go back down to lows near freezing, which will get you, see, get you ready for the holiday season, at least. Yeah, I see what you did there. Trade, <laughs> yes. trade the rain for the cold. One for the other. You get one <laughs> <laughs> it's Christmas. I, I guess we'll we'll take it. We'll take what we can get. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Griffin. And thank all of you for joining us tonight. Remember, we're always online, wyff4.com, and right on the app on your cell phone. We'll see you back here at 11. But for now, NBC Nightly News is next. This is a WYFF4 editor.